chicken spinach artichoke bake. This one's not that pretty, but it is delicious. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a medium sized saucepan, one and a half cups of milk, about a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and two cloves of garlic that have been minced, and a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and six ounces of cream cheese that's at room temperature. And I had to cut the happy cream cheese up so that it would melt a little bit faster. Then you're gonna put this over medium heat and begin to stir and heat it. And as it begins to heat, you can switch to a whisk. It'll just be easier to break up those lumps of cream cheese. And you're gonna to continue to cook this, stirring occasionally until everything's nicely melted and it's thickened, about four minutes or so. And then put this aside. Now in a large bowl, you're gonna place some basmati rice that's been cooked. That's three quarters of a cup of basmati rice that I cooked according to package directions. And to that, I added four cups of shredded chicken. And I just used rotisserie chicken. This is a great recipe to use up leftover chicken. Then I added two cups of packed fresh spinach and one 14 ounce can of artichoke hearts that were cut into quarters. And then finally, one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. And then just give that a toss so that all the ingredients are kind of evenly combined. And then pour on that sauce that we just made on the stove and just give it a stir until it's combined. Now pour that mixture into a nine by 13 inch baking dish that's been lightly greased. Spread it around and top it with one half cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Then put it into a 350 degree oven for about 35, 40 minutes until it's hot and bubbly and the cheese is melted. And what I did is I put mine under the broiler for a couple of minutes, watching carefully just to brown up the top a bit. I just thought it looked nicer. And there it is. Like I said, it's not the prettiest dish, but it is delicious and it has everything in one serving. All you need is maybe some bread or maybe a salad on the side. It's delicious and you can change up the flavors by changing the different kinds of cheese if you'd like and different seasonings. If you like one dish casseroles involving chicken, try out this one pot fix it and forget it chicken and rice. And as always, thank you so much for watching.